Howdy from Arlington, Texas, y'all. Hope this video finds you well. I'm gonna do a uh, quick mail call Monday. As uh, you know, I tend to be long-winded, and last week's was half an hour. This one ain't gonna be no half hour. This one's gonna be pretty quick. So what you see in front of you there is I joined 3B Collection. Uh, he did a group break a few months ago of a few blasters of the 2020 Tops Holiday. And those were some of the cards I got, but I just figured I'd throw those there. But I wanted to mention 3B Collection. Uh, once again, Monday night, tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern. Uh, we'll be live on his channel. We usually run just about an hour is all we go. Um, but just a live stream. Uh, feel free to check in and chat along with us and talk about the hobby. So... Let's just go ahead and get into it. So I bought a card on eBay, and it was just too good to be true. The price was good. I got this for a dollar twenty-five. Normally, I don't. I'm not into paying four dollars shipping for a one-dollar card. I'll just pass it. But this card is numbered out of ninety-nine, so there aren't a whole lot of them. And then, I mean, as soon as I hit pay, I'm like, you know what, damn it, I'm pretty sure I already have this card. I didn't even bother looking at that, and damned if I wasn't right, I've already got it. So i got two copies of this now, but it's the Charles Barkley from Mosaic this year. The one I'm really working on trying to, I don't want to say I'm trying to assemble the rainbow, but the one I'm trying to collect the most cards of is the Team USA card. But, you know, I still pick up some of the Sixers ones, um, numbered out of 99. And with shipping, let's get rid of that little thing there. With shipping, I still only paid less than six bucks for it. and It's not one to show up, so whatever. I'm not in the mood. There we go. 87 out of 99. Paid less than six bucks for that, so... Pretty thrilled, even though I have two of them, but you'll have that. Let's see if it looks better. There, does it look shinier? There's a little more shine to it. Um, I don't know what others' opinions are. I've heard people talk about it, but he also threw in just the, it, well, these were in there as buffer cards. So I don't mind when I don't mind when uh, people do that. And I've actually gotten dollar, two dollar cards in those before because some people just don't want to. Uh, so I want to deal with the low-end stuff. So this one, bought on eBay. I'm taking a chance on it. And I've taken a chance on a couple of other ones on eBay. But I'm a little overly cautious because I don't throw money away. I don't, uh, you know, you hear about all these scams. Well, I'm not someone that has gotten scammed. I've had one or two small issues in the, you know, 20 years plus I've been buying stuff online. This one was a chance, but I felt good looking at the signature. So we'll see about getting it authenticated. But this is Dale Earnhardt. I don't know why we're not focusing today. Come on. Focus a little better. No? Yeah. All right, camera. You can eat a bag of dicks. Okay, so now we're a little focused. So I feel good about, I feel decent about it based on the signatures I've seen in the past. But someday I will get this off to Garrett at Slab City um, to try and see if it's authenticated. What concerns me is that it was from a seller that had a bunch of Dale Earnhardt uncertified autographs. So that concerns me. So that's a red flag. Um, also, he only really had Dale Earnhardt, Dale Earnhardt Jr. stuff, and there was a third person, I can't remember for the life of me who it was, but it is what it is. It's a calculated risk, and we will see down the road if it pays off. So, going back to talking about Herman and the, uh, he had sent me those, uh, Tops Holiday. This was one of the ones I got in there that was a short print. Let's see, got, where we got we got to have something here that makes it a short print. I don't know. I don't see anything. I thought our hat was supposed to have had like a 
bulb or something. I don't know. Maybe this isn't the, maybe this isn't the, I thought this was supposed to be one of those short prints or super short prints, but nonetheless, maybe it is, maybe it's not. Oh, well. So I didn't pay for the shipping on that. He does stack shipping where you pay, you pay for your breaks individually and then you pay to ship your cards. Uh, shipping's not included, but they're not going to ship every time so you can hold on. So I hadn't paid shipping and surprisingly got a package from him the other day and he'd include those, but I said something to him uh, on our stream or before our stream on Saturday that we were all on um, our hobby round table. And he's like, well, yeah. There's a, there's a reason for that. I wanted to send you something else. And did he ever send me this little, this little brick of cards. Super excited about this. So this is from the Tops sticker set. The Tops Now or no, maybe, oh, it's not Tops Now. It's the Tops sticker album. As you see, I put from Herman. I'm starting to put stickers on everything. To make sure I don't ever sell off stuff that someone sends me. If somebody sends me something I have, then I will look to move on from the one that I purchased myself and keep the one that they gave me. But that was the only non Barkley, but we got a stack of Barkleys here. Good stuff. And he said these are all ones they were at his parents' house. And these are all ones he pulled in the 90s himself. So. Pretty awesome to add some of the, or well, all these to my collection. I said some of them I did have, but there's probably over half of them I did not have a copy of these, or I don't think I did. And they will stay in my collection, and I will just go ahead and look to move on the ones that weren't. I love this. I love the NBA on NBC because, man, that used to be one of the things we'd watch, especially on uh, Christmas Day. You know, we'd get up, open gifts at home. You know, we were kids, so we'd get mom and dad up at like 5 a.m. <laughs> um, and then when I became a, a stepdad, oh, man, that was miserable. I apologize to my parents a lot about that. But anyway, we'd go to my grandparents. You know, we'd be over there around noon or 1, get home around hopefully like 5 or 6. And then there was always the that last NBA on NBC game on. So it just, just that little logo in itself is just something that kind of brings back some fond memories. Love that metal set. I bought so much of this stuff back in the day looking for the Bob Suras and the Antonio McDice cards. Bowman's best. Got a die cut and a base of that. I think that's 96-97 SP. I thought these were the same. Oh, oh, wait, what did I do? Oh, yeah, I thought these were the same card because I was putting, he had sent a few where there were doubles and I put them on front and back and I thought these were uh, we come to, then I noticed at the bottom, the one is the gold medallion. Stadium club. Yeah, there's one where, you know, he sent two of them, so keep both of them. Same thing with this ultra. I love the first couple of years of Flair Ultra basketball. So, thanks, Herman. I've already told you, and I'm sure I'll tell you again, and maybe I'll even tell you here in a few hours when uh, we, do the, uh, we do the show tonight. Uh, one last thing to show off. I don't even, I think I'd shown maybe in one of the other mail day video, maybe I'd shown off. I may not have even talked about them. So I did the WWE tops living subscription. So I get the two card pack every week. It charges, you know, it charges my card on Fridays and, uh, this Friday or Saturday I received two of the weeks of cards so you can't even see it here but so now I have the there's the the bottom row there is the foremost recent I got and then I have these in my Z folio let's zoom out and you can't really see Maurice there there you go so I got a Z folio and I am gonna be working on this set uh, working on not really doing anything other than sitting at home and waiting on them to ship to me uh, but we'll be working on those for at least the first year I keep saying working on but there's nothing to work on but I did get the year subscription to those haven't uh, haven't bought multiples of any yet you know down the road there might be a couple guys I might do that with that uh, are guys I want to see if I can uh, get some through the mail autographs of like demolition acts um, if he's in there at some point, I would imagine they'll put Axe and Smash together. 
uh, Ricky Steamboat, who was my favorite as a kid. Um, maybe some other favorites that have passed away I might do, like King Kong Bundy, Mr. Perfect, guys like that. The Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase. I wonder if he signs through the mail. If Garrett, if you watch this, you might have a good idea of that. But anyway, that's all I got. Hopefully, if you see this before tonight's show, we'll see you tonight in the live chat. But we're, we're going to be doing this every Monday. Um, you know, I might take a week off here or there. Who knows? You might have We might have a guest on there. Um, but yeah, hope to see you there. Whether I see you tonight or I see you later, one way or the other, I will see you down the road.